What is going on, Ben Nation? Guys, I don't want to pick on anybody. I don't want to pick on you. I don't want to pick on anybody who has doubts or who worries about stuff. I don't I don't want to pick on anybody, right? However, I'm going to point some things out. And if you faded and you're just checking in to see, like, what are you saying now? Or if you're doing something like that, you're not going to like it because, um, you know, uh, the market, look, the market is very difficult right now for memes and stuff like that. It's difficult for things that don't really have a full bore utility yet. And we don't, we're not there yet, right? Uh, but it's coming and you don't have the patience. And if you don't have patience, you are going to lose, right? Um, so I'm going to check Ben Price first. Then I'm going to just kind of lay something out for you. I'm going to lay it out fairly quickly. I'm not going to take a whole lot of your time on it, but I'm going to lay it out for you. And then at the end of it, uh, if you punch yourself in the face, cool. If you don't punch yourself in your face and you're like, man, he's just full of it. Okay, boomer. Uh, but you know what? Let's just do it. All right, so first of all, and I'm using some of this older stuff over here. You, you can see right here, there's been pressure on the price action. A uh, million in liquidity, about a $4 million market cap. And I know some people are, are uh, fading it. And I know, and I know some people are uh, cheating out. You know, I mean, this is what people do, right? I just saw this sell right here, uh, $8,000, 2.36, sold all of their Ben, uh, basically. And if you come over here, I mean, you can basically check the wallet and you can look at it. And they accumulated, they accumulated um, a lot of ETH worth of Ben, and they did it before the V2. Now, you know, V2 at this point, you know, not look, doesn't look great. Doesn't, you know, not setting the world on fire. We know that. Uh, but it was probably up here in this kind of range over here, 255 days ago when they entered, right? So uh, if that's the case, then, you know, you're probably looking at 20 million market cap. So uh, they took, you know, 10, 15 ETH, turned it into two ETH, and then cashed out and decided, I'm going to take my losses, bro. All right. So listen, and, and this is the point that I'm trying to make here. This is what you're fading right now because you're like, no, I'm just going to take my ETH and I'm going to walk away. And look, fine, that's that you do you, boo boo. But um, I'm going to point out a, uh, something here, just really quick here. And, and you guys will see what I'm talking about, or at least maybe you should see what I'm talking about. Or you're going to be like, oh, it's just blind luck, bro. We'll see. So uh, here is Ben calling dip days ago. By the way, this was days ago. Uh, today, dip just ripped up to 10.4 cents. Ben was calling it at like two cents. So there's a 5X that's been sitting right there. Uh, because Ben recognizes tokens and Ben knows uh, when things are, are getting ready to pump or when they look primed to have breakouts, et cetera, et cetera. Like he knows what he's talking about, right? What do you call? He called dip. What happened to dip? Dip 5 x um, And, you know, continue to go down here. Uh, and he's talking about base coins right now. Uh, and one of them, of course, was dip. Um, there's a bunch of different other ones. Pith, Ondo. Guys, you filled up on Pith and Ondo not that long ago. And guess what? It ripped. Sui, absolutely ripped. Solana. Uh, remember this was dead and then Ben started talking about it not that long ago and then it absolutely went crazy. Uh, so, you know, every time you pick something, then it, it starts to rip. Um, here's, he, he's picking a January 15th, top 100, Miro heading to the top 100. It just broke number 300. It's coming. Uh, when that was the case, this was over here, down here. Uh, Myro ran all the way up to almost 45 cents. So it happened again. You know, it's retracing down here to 20, about about 20 cents right now. But guess what? It's going to break out again because it's forming a pattern that tells me that it's about to start ripping and breaking out again. Uh, and then let's go back over here. If Bencoin does not enter the top 100 for this bull run before December 31, 2025, then I will completely delete my account and disappear forever. No caveats, no strings, no backing out, period. Now, let's just go back and... and Relitigate this. You were just told by Ben Armstrong, who continues to pick winners, uh, who continues to point out winners, who continues to make you money, that his project, what he's doing, is going to end up in the top 100. And you are just donating ETH to, uh, to other holders uh, by selling. And it's look, I'm not telling you that. Uh, it, it's going to go to the top 100. But I trust in Ben Armstrong that if he says something's going to happen, it generally tends to happen. So, uh, and you can look around, by the way, and you can see the testimony. Go listen to the testimony that I, I gave you about everything that's going on with these lawsuits. Just listen and you'll understand. So uh, 
I would venture to say that if you are holding Ben coin, I know it didn't pump the way that you wanted it, but if it pumped the way that you wanted it, you would have sold anyway, and you probably would have missed out. And if you were going to hold on to it, what are you complaining about? Because you're holding on to it anyway. If you're holding on to it because you want to see the fictitious number in your wallet, uh, because it makes you feel gooder, I'm not even going to say better, I'm going to say gooder, uh, because it makes you feel gooder, I mean, okay, uh, but you're probably not going to make it because you're too emotional about it. Uh, you put your money in, you invest in it, and then you just give it some time and let this thing play and let it run, right? Simple. If you over leverage yourself, if you make bad decisions, it's not Ben's fault you make a bad decision. It's not anybody's fault that you make a bad decision except you. It's not me. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do with your money. Uh, I am telling you what maybe you should do. I, maybe, I, maybe I am in some way telling you what you should do with your money um, because I trust in a process not because i'm your financial advisor if your financial advisor says no this is stupid then just be, make it be stupid right but that's not me so um guys you might want to pay attention to what's going on around you even if you don't clearly see what's going on with ben coin right now even if you don't clearly see everything just know that if you don't recognize the signs you're not going to make it in this market anyway so uh you should go back to silver and gold or, uh, I don't know, teeth. I don't know what you're trading today. I, I don't know what you're going to trade. Um, soybeans, coffee, you know, work it out. Oil, maybe. Ooh, look at you. But it, it, crypto might not be for you. If you're taking the guy that keeps giving you winners and he tells you that he's going to make his own project a winner by the end of this, and you're saying, I don't think he's going to do it. And I think I'm going to go ahead and sell for a loss. That's on you, bro. Anyway, that's my rant for the day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this is not financial advice but I'm always right.